Ever since the Varroa mite transitioned over from its natural host, the Asian honeybee, to European honeybees, hives have been decimated around the world. Queen breeders have made great strides in selecting for behaviors that allow bees to be resistant to the Varroa mite. Most hygienic behaviors, however, depend on the bee's ability to remove Varroa from the brood. During times of the year when there is no brood available, all of the mites are on the bees themselves, in locations that are often difficult for the bee to remove herself, if not impossible. In such situations, a bee will perform a grooming invitation dance to try to encourage her sisters to uh, help her in getting the mite off of her. I like to call it the Get it off of me! Get it off of me! dance. As you can see, this bee is not having much luck. She's shaking and quivering, bouncing around. She's trying to get her sister's attention without much luck. There you can see the mite under the third tergum of the dorsal abdomen. That would be impossible for the bee to get off her by herself. Here is another bee trying to get one of her sister's attention. Watch as the other bee climbs on board and begins using her mandibles to groom under the wings, on the thorax, and in the segment between the thorax and abdomen. The bees will use their mandibles and sometimes their front two legs to groom their sister. The bee that invited the grooming sits still and spreads her wings out wide. I don't know if bees have feelings like humans and other animals, but she sure looks like she's enjoying it, doesn't she? Usually grooming is one bee at grooming another. Watch as a second bee comes in and takes over the grooming session. massage at the end of a hard day. The grooming session is over. It doesn't look like they got the mite. See how the bee is trying to use her hind legs to try to scrape the varroa mite off from her abdomen? Let's try this again. Oh wait, there's the mite. See it? On the right side of her upper abdomen? You're so close. It's right there. Get it. Get it. There are times when she has the tarsal pad of her middle leg on the mite itself and doesn't realize it. Now watch closely. Look what the mite does. Look at that. It's gone. Where did it go? Let's watch this again. There's the mite. It starts moving. It starts crawling. It didn't fall off. It crawled from one bee to another. The original bee doesn't have the mite anymore. She's much happier. Look how relaxed she is. Unfortunately, the mite is now on the sister who was kind enough to help her out by grooming her. This shows you how difficult it is for bees to remove mites. Recently, Dr. Hunt and others have been breeding for bees that not only groom, but actually bite the mites. This should be a very useful tool in our arsenal against the Varroa mite in the future.